Evening world, it's 8 o'clock in the evening on the 6th of March and I'm all over the place at the moment but that's because there's a lot of things going on in the heavens but it's just taking me out of a loop to a certain extent. There's some big shit stuff going on up there. Firstly, uh, we're still in the after shadow, if you like, of Mercury retrograde and will be for another week and a half, perhaps even two weeks. Secondly, and perhaps more, much more importantly, Venus has finally left Capricorn to, to cheers, I hear, for many people because uh, Venus in Capricorn's all right for a time, you know, five or six weeks, but it's been there three months with its retrograde uh, movements and its uh, sultry and suggestive conjunctions with Pluto. So um, I'm pleased to see Venus in Aquarius now, and I'm sure most Aquarius and to a lesser extent Leos are as well. Uh, but this is minor picture. The big picture is, is as the Mercury retrograde clears, so the imminent Grand Cross pattern that is ongoing as we speak is getting stronger. Jupiter stood still today. Uh, Jupiter is now, as of now, I believe it's actually stopped going retrograde. Indeed, it has. It stopped going retrograde about... Um, Eight hours ago, ten hours ago, something like that. And as of now, Jupiter's moving forward, finally. So all the moving forward and backward of recent days with the retrogrades is just about over. So we should see the world settling in. The jostling for position is almost over, at least in the short term, for a coming week or two. Now, recently, I looked at where... Your Saturn was, if your Saturn was, if you were one of those sub-generations who's getting hit by the Grand Cross. And a number of people have said, well, who is getting hit? Everyone is the answer. Everyone's getting hit. But um, primarily, if you're born within a couple of days, either side of the 4th of January or the 3rd of April or the 5th of 6th of July or the 6th, 7th of October, then yes, you're in the firing line. And you'll be already aware of the increasing intensity. And in many ways, it's been brewing for years. But it's drawing to a close as we speak. And within another couple of months, max, um, much of the challenge and restriction of this year is going to be a done deal. So so, so it's too late to back out now. You've just got to get stuck in and get, get, get through it. Other people, there's sub, the sub-generations again of people who have, have realised to be getting hit. I've been doing readings for people where I've realised that the Grand Cross is actually hitting their collective Neptune or collective Uranus or Pluto. So some of these people, for example, the people born over 1947, 1948 and to an extent 1949 with Neptune at 12, 13, 14 Libra then you're going to be finding, although most of you indeed are in your mid-60s, but you're still going to be finding that this is a time where a lot of dreams either come true or come crashing down to earth. If you're born um, in 19, say, Jan July 51 to July 52, you're going to be finding that this coming Grand Cross is going to bring an element of sudden change and disruption because it's hitting your Uranus. You're all born with Uranus at 10 to 14 degrees of cancer. So you can expect a degree of uh, largesse and overreaction just in the coming couple of weeks. If you're born in 1970, October 1970 to about July 1972, you've got Uranus in Libra. Uh, again, between 10 and 14 degrees where the Grand Cross will be at its most strongest during mid-April. So again, you can expect, uh, this sub-generation can expect a degree of volatility in certain specific areas of their life, depending on the nature of your own chart. Then we move a bit more forward. We look at the generation born November 1975 to October 1977, who have got Pluto at 10 to 14 degrees of Libra. And again, we can expect this March-April time to bring these people, this sub-generation, much more intensely, passionately and deeply into touch with their, both their anger and, and their capacity for assertiveness and projectiveness, depending on how they're wired. Uh, we could fast forward again to look at a couple more generations. The generation born from January 1989 to December 90, with Neptune at 12 Capricorn, give or take a couple of degrees. 
And here, the generation who's currently in their early, mid-20s, 23, 24, they're going to be finding a lot of dissolving and releasing taking place over this coming couple of months, particularly those born during November and December 1989, who were born with Saturn conjunct Neptune. All of these people, plus the generation born in all of 91 and most of 92, with Uranus at 12 Capricorn, all of these people are going to be affected in a way that's not going to be vivid, dynamic, individualistic, unless their individual charts are getting hit. But because the generational charts are getting hit, their whole generation is, they're going to be going through a kind of collective shock or collective push forward. So if you're part of these generations, get your surfboards oiled, get your roller skates greased, time's coming. Catch you later. Bye.